What's up guys, my name is Bart Komar, and today I'm gonna to show you how I made this mid-century modern desk with some knobs so that it can be collapsed and stored away when you're not using it. Welcome to the Komar Project. Okay guys, so we needed a desk, actually three of them, because we have three kids and with this whole new e-learning, remote learning thing that's happening all over the world, it was getting a little difficult to monitor our kids in their rooms and actually make sure that they're doing their schoolwork and not playing video games. So we decided to have all three of the kids in a common area where we can actually keep an eye on them, but I didn't want to have three desks in the living room all the time. So when the kids are done, we can actually break this desk down and store it in a closet. So this design calls for a sheet of three quarter inch plywood and a sheet of half inch plywood. And on the screen right now, you actually see the cut list that I used and hopefully that's gonna help you guys follow along. After cutting all the pieces using my track saw, I started to lay out all the rabbits and dados for the divided pieces. And rabbits and dados are just fancy ways of saying grooves in a piece of wood that is gonna accept a mating piece. So I did this on my table saw with a dado blade, but Data blades are a little bit expensive and if you don't have one of those you can always do the same exact thing that I did with a router and a flush trim bit which will probably set you back like 30 bucks. The top of the desk is a little bit larger than the bottom and to make sure all the dado locations match up on both of them I use a spacer attached to the fence when cutting the two pieces. Then I can remove the spacer and cut the dados on the bottom panel and this is going to align the partitions perfectly. Next I cut a half inch dado in all the pieces, the top, the partitions, the bottom, and it's a quarter of an inch from the back. And those dados are for the three back panels made out of half inch plywood. Now I ended up using a sheet of three quarter inch and a sheet of half inch plywood because I was trying to cut down on the weight of it so we can carry it. But you can actually build this desk out of a single sheet of plywood. caught it, but it could have been a lot worse. Uh, the workpiece wasn't supported all the way around. It was all wobbly and lopsided, and the sander just kind of got away from me. Luckily, it didn't scratch anything, but yeah, just make sure your work surface is properly supported, because the last thing you want to do is spend two to three days making this thing, and then put a big gouge in it, and you got to start over. Lucky day. Mm -mm -mm. Lucky day. Mm -mm -mm. Lucky. So, uh, yeah, my dancing skill is pretty on point, right? As my kids would say, they're legit. Or Loki Bomb, uh, I don't know. Um, so, anyways, I ended up making a template for the handle out of some scrap MDF, and then I just transferred it onto the bottom panel of the desk. Then using a jigsaw, I removed the majority of the handle material and cleaned it up with a flush trim bit on the router. Okay guys, I'm ready for the glue up and I think I got everything ready. I got my clamps, check. Glue, check. Got my little brush, check. Pieces, okay. Stress level, through the roof, but I'm excited. So let's get this thing assembled because I want to start working on the legs. We got ourselves a desk, at least the makings of a desk. So let's make some legs and test this on a the kid. They're gonna love daddy. Let's see. Yeah. 
totally careable. <laughs> oh, here. Like, lean up against here and pretend like you're sitting in a chair. Bang on forward. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Is that hard? If the desk is to here, would that, that might be too low for you, right? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Let's do it. I'm a big fan of making templates out of MDF. It's cheap and it's easy to work with. And I was able to make quick adjustments to the legs just by changing a few angles. Plus, I always like to keep my templates because you never know, you might want to incorporate a previous design feature into a future project. And a template will allow you to replicate it perfectly every single time. Okay, so we have our leg template all cut out and it's looking great. They look really good on there. Next is to actually transfer it onto a piece of half inch plywood. And when I'm gonna be tracing it, I don't want to trace it exactly. I wanna give myself about a quarter of an inch with play because then we're gonna come back with a pattern bit on a router and we're gonna cut it out exactly to the template. So let's do that. I'm using half inch plywood for the outside part of the legs. When I was designing this on paper, the visual side of me loved how that looked. But on the next desk, I think I'm gonna end up using three quarter inch for all of it. It's gonna be cheaper using a single sheet. Plus the added thickness to the outside of the legs will make it much stronger without compromising the design, I think. And the plans on the website are going to reflect that, but you can build it any way you want. This is just the design that I came up with that works for our family. You can pretty much modify any portion of this desk to suit your needs. I mean, the world is your playground, so have fun with it and make it yours. All right, so what we have to do is glue these onto here so it'll be support for when the desk sits on top of it. Got him! showing off my dad ninja skills to the little one and her giving me that dad you're a weirdo look we glued the three quarter inch pieces to the legs that will support the weight of the desk now we wait, wait. You gotta say now we wait while she waited or went to go play Roblox, I'm not actually sure, I got back to work by cutting the pieces for the drawers out of half inch plywood. I cut the rabbits on the front and back panels and dados on all four of them that will accept the bottom piece. The glue up went fairly easy for once. I didn't use any nails or screws here. I just adjusted for square by tightening or loosening the clamps and let the glue set up. We got ourselves a perfect drawer. We're gonna make a face frame for it, attach the legs, and then start the finishing process. Multitask, guys, multitask. Hot, hot, oh. Since the drawer is going to have an inset face, I used a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch plywood as a guide to set the depth location for my drawer slides. And these are 14 inch soft closed slides, link in the description. So the drawer face has an integrated handle into it, and once mounted onto the drawer, I didn't want you to feel that front panel when you went to go grab it. So I used the jigsaw to cut a relief into the drawer, so now that when you go grab the pull, you only feel the face of it. Then I used some double-sided tape to mount the drawer face to the drawer, and used the playing card trick to adjust it, make sure all the reliefs all the way around it were perfect. Then I attached the face to the drawer body with one inch screws and I could move on to finishing the legs which had a chance to dry.
I removed the access on the bandsaw, or if you don't have one, you can also use a jigsaw for this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And again, use the flush trim bit to flush everything up. All right, it's time to actually secure these legs to the desk. And this is where the whole collapsible thing comes into play because we're gonna be adding knobs to it that you can unscrew and remove the legs. I really don't wanna screw this part up because if I do, it's just another desk, right? But the whole point of this desk is to break it down, stick it under a bed or something like that, and be able to pull it out and set it up whenever your kids need it. So it's a little scary, but let's do it. For this next step, which I think is the most important in this build, I'm using two different drill bit sizes a 15 30 seconds bit to make the holes that the knot bolt will pass through and a 5 16 bit for the holes that the threaded inserts will set into. Using the larger bit, I drilled through the side of the legs, just kissing the desk to mark it. Then using the smaller bit, I drilled the holes for the inserts. Now when screwing the inserts in, you wanna make sure that they're perfectly square to the desk and you don't wanna screw it in all the way. Leaving the insert proud by about a 16th allows the larger holes in the legs to actually sit over the insert, which allows you to place the leg in the same location without any play. The knobs I'm using are 5 16 Easy Grip knobs from Rockler. They also have larger sizes, but I figured anything bigger on this desk might be a little bit overkill. So these work perfectly. Next, I needed to mount the legs to the underside of the desk for storage and I used the same exact process as I did when mounting the legs to the side. I had some trouble here figuring out where to place the legs so that you could actually stand the desk on its side or lay it flat. But after some serious head scratching and adding a few mounting blocks, I was able to use the knobs as like rubber feet for when the desk is collapsed and you're laying it down face up for storage. So in the end, it all worked out great. <laughs> okay. Okay, my friends. Anybody want to go to work? And finally, it was time to finish it with some Halcyon Clear from Totoboat, the sponsor of this project. A while ago I tested 8 different finishes in my shop and I wanted to see which one of them discolored the wood the least. Basically which one gave me the clearest finish. And out of all of them, Halcyon Clear, it being a water based finish, gave me the best result. So when it came time to pick a finish for this desk, it was a no brainer for me. I applied the first coat with a brush and since you can reapply within one hour, I figured I'd bust out the sprayer and get 3 coats done in one day. And since this is a gloss, but it's more of a like a semi gloss, I'm going to actually thin it with some water to bring it down to like a matte finish. Pew 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 pew. Mm
that's it guys. This is my version of a collapsible desk. This is something that we needed and it's gonna serve our kids well. This is version one of three and I'm probably not gonna do enough video on the other two, but if you wanna check out the modifications that I make, make sure you follow me on Instagram, very active there. And if you have any questions about this desk or have any design ideas that I can improve upon, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Down, turn towards the camera. No, no, no. Down, no, go down. Okay, like, no, Dad, stop. No, gotta get it on your face. Okay. okay Say, now we wait. No, we can wait. No, don't. No. <laughs> <laughs>